Hello, welcome to my YouTube video where I'm going to demonstrate my limit switches on my Harbor Freight X2 Mini Mill. So if you're uh, the owner of a, an X2 Mini Mill conversion, you may realize just like I did that you kind of need to come up with some limit switches, otherwise using the machine's just not really, well, it's less than efficient. So there's a lot of reasons to have limit switches. I mean, number one is safety. It protects the machine from you. <laughs> number two, it, it's easier if the limit switches are working. If you happen to miss a step for whatever reason, or if you shut the machine off and you have to pick it up again, you can just home the machine and go back to a known zero point and, and rerun your program. Uh, without them, you're, you're sort of stuck picking up your, your part origin again. So that, that's inconvenient. And finally, it's just, I don't know, it's just cooler to have limit switches working on your machine. It just, it makes it more like an actual, you know, real CNC machine. So let me just uh, give you a quick demonstration. I'm just going to home the machine out really quick. And I'll do that one more time and I'll get a close up of the switches themselves so you can see how they work. So the Z-axis, pretty simple. I was able to just fasten a piece of alumina extrusion on the uh, column of the machine. There was, a, I think, a, an angle plate there with some kind of scale on it. I took it off, used the same holes, have these nice little limit switches I was able to purchase off of eBay. Made a nice little, I guess I'll call it a trip dog has this nice little 45 degree ramp, which that's what engages the limit switch. So it's nice, the 45 degree ramp gives you a lot of repeatability. And it's also nice if you space it just right, you can make it so if for some reason you do over travel, it won't destroy the limit switch. It actually, there's enough travel in the limit switch, it can ride over this trip dog and it, it won't break the switch. The X axis was able to make these, once again I'll call them trip dogs, I used the rivet holes that held the scale on the x-axis, I just popped them off, drilled up, drilled out the aluminum rivets and it gave me a nice place to drill and tap to fasten these trip dogs on. And Once again the 45 degree ramping, it's very repeatable, provides enough travel, you won't destroy your limit switches if you over travel. Can't really see the limit switches but they're sort of nestled in there was able to use existing holes to mount that. And, and there's the y-axis, sort of the same idea. Use the machine mounting holes to fasten this bracket. Use some existing holes to mount the switches to the, the uh, cross slide. And uh, same thing, these nice little 45 degree trip dogs. So let me attempt to give you a shot of this thing. Action up There you go. I hope that's helpful. Limit switches on the X2 Mini Mill.